Good morning Saints fans from the Linden House Centre where we're all a little bit disappointed this morning that we haven't been successful in our bid to have a Saints team playing in the inaugural National Women's League competition in 2017. But at the same time, we're very optimistic and excited that we've been given a provisional licence which will allow us to enter that competition from as soon as 2018. We're really proud of the submission we put, for we put forward. It represents the heartland of Bayside, which has been the real engine room for the growth of women's football. We're really proud of the way in which everyone's got behind our Team Angelica campaign, which has really embraced the idea that women can do anything if given the opportunity. So we congratulate the AFL on bringing forward their competition. We even congratulate the teams that have been successful in getting a team for year one. But i tell you what, we're firmly focused on having a competitive team from 2018 that's going to knock them off right from the start. And that's what everything that we'll be doing over the next 18 months will be focused on. Working with our partners in the Bayside football community, the Seaford Tigerettes, the St Kilda City Sharks, the Dandong Stingrays and the Sandringham Dragons. Because together we believe that we can build a compelling team that will be competitive right from the start and does justice to the enormous talent in women's football which is emerging in our Bayside region. We've got great people involved in our footy club and Peter Searle who's worked alongside me, Jamie Cox and others over the last six months to build this is going to play a very important role going forward. So in closing, I just want to reaffirm our commitment to establishing a successful Saints team in the National Women's League that builds upon the wonderful support that everyone's provided behind our campaign. It gives us enormous confidence that there's very prosperous times ahead for the Saints and women's footy.